Today we have a continuation of the last video where we talk about the names that we give to every number. We counted up to nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We also learn that the next numbers uh, are created by using these numbers here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The next number, the number that comes after nine is a 10, which is one zero. The next number is 11, which is one one. The next number is 12, which is one two. If you see, there is a sequence here. We're using these same numbers to create the following numbers, okay? It's one and zero, one and one, one and two, one and three, one and four, one and five, one and six, one and seven, up to one and nine, and then we get to 20, okay? So we know that we can go from 10 to 20, from 20 to 30, from 30 to 40. You see the pattern here. These numbers here are the same numbers that we learned originally. All we did was put a zero to the right of them, and we made those numbers. Now, you ask me, well, Ms. Lopez, how do we go from 20 to 30? Well, the same way we went from 10 to 11. We will go from 20, we put a one instead of a zero, and we have 21. We put a two instead of a one, and we have 22. Then we have 23. Guess what comes after 23? It has to be 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then 30. And we do the exact same thing with 30. You know, instead of writing a two and a one, we're gonna write a three and a one, three and a two, three and three, and so on, okay? Then we go to 40, 50, 60, and we continue until we get to 100, okay? From 100 on, comes very easy also, but we're gonna stop there at 100. My invitation to you guys is that you ask your parents to help you learn this. Uh, if you look at the pattern, it's very easy to understand, um, but you need practice, okay? It's not the same having one candy than having 10 candies or having 100 candies, so it's a totally different number. Guys, it was great being with you here today. I hope to see you again. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.